Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can sync tags from your CRM into MailChimp. So as those contacts come from your CRM into MailChimp, those tags can come with them. So let me show you what this looks like. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hop into MailChimp. And I kinda of wanted to show you in MailChimp, they have tags. Ideally, we could sync the tags right into here immediately, but unfortunately MailChimp isn't built that way. So we have to kinda of get them in there a special way. So what you're gonna do is go to audience dashboard and you're gonna to go to manage audience. Make sure this is the audience you're syncing your contacts to. And you're gonna to go to settings. And you're gonna go down here to audience fields and merge tags. And we're gonna create a custom field for these tags coming from your CRM. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom, I'm gonna hit add a field and I'm gonna make it a text field. And then I'm just gonna go down to the bottom again and I'm gonna name that you're gonna name it, uh, you can name it CRM tags. You can name it after your CRM. So you can write follow up boss tags, KV core tags, chime tags, privity tags, whatever you're doing, line desk tags. Um, I'm just gonna go with CRM tags for now, but make sure it's something tags so that you can easily differentiate between the tags you're creating here and the actual MailChimp tags. So I'm gonna save these changes so I've now created a custom field called CRM tags. Now I'm gonna to go to apination.com and I'm gonna click on start syncing. It's gonna show me all the apps I can automate here at API Nation. I'm gonna scroll on down until I get to MailChimp under M, there it is. And then I'm gonna choose the CRM I'm gonna be syncing with MailChimp. So like I said, you can do it with Privity, Boomtown, Follow Up Boss, KV Core, Line Desk. You can even do it with a contact manager like Google Contacts or iPhone. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use KV Core. KV Core uses tags, and so we're gonna set it up so that the tags from KV Core go into MailChimp. I'm gonna click Activate, and then I'm gonna sign into KV Core. I'm gonna connect MailChimp. We have explanations for how to do that on both those steps. You're gonna get finally to this page where it has the actual configuration of the sync. You're gonna go ahead and make sure again that this is the audience you're syncing it to and you're gonna come on down to mapping. And now that we've created that custom field, you're gonna see a field in here called CRM tags or KV core tags or whatever you named it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this plus sign, search for tags, there it is. So my tags from KV core, anybody I tag will come over and their tags from KV core will be in that field called CRM tags in MailChimp. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that sync. So there we go, the contacts are going over and they're coming over with their tags in the MailChimp. So once this is set up, there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing you can do is you can go back into MailChimp and you can set up segments. So you can go ahead and say, I'm gonna create a segment and let's say I have a tag called first time buyer. Let's make it all one word. First time buyer. Cool. I'm going to add a condition and I'm going to say if, again, not these tags, not the MailChimp tags, if the tags field that I just created, if that contains first time buyer, great. That is my segment. So there we go. I would just save that segment. And now I have a segment, so whenever I draft up an email, I can decide to just send it to my first time buyer segment or everybody. So that's one way you can kind of have these tags affect where these contacts are getting put in MailChimp. And you can go ahead and create as many segments for as many tags as you want. The great thing about segments in MailChimp is they manage themselves. So you don't have to go in here and add contacts into these segments. You set up the rules, and as the contacts come over, if they match those rules, they'll automatically get put in those segments. The other thing you can do is you can come over here to Automations and go to Journeys. And I'm actually gonna create a journey. And this is a kind of a cool way where you can use that field, that field that we created, CRM tags, to actually make it tag it with the MailChimp tag. So if the MailChimp tags are very useful for you, this is the way to go. So I'm gonna call this CRM tag uh, first time buyer. 
Anyway, start building this. It's going to ask me, all right, when should we start? And I'm going to choose a starting point. I'm going to say, as soon as somebody signs up for this newsletter, I can go ahead and include important contacts. That's fine. I'm going to save that starting point. So what we're doing is in this audience, as soon as somebody signs up or is added to that audience, I'm going to add a journey point and I'm going to choose the if else. And here I'm just giving it the rule to separate out the people. I'm going to click this drop down. I'm going to change it to, let's go up to that field CRM tag. There it is. And I'm going to say CRM tag contains first time buyer. So I'm going to save that. So what it's doing is asking as contacts are added, it's going to evaluate in that CRM tags area. Is there the word first time buyer? If there is, I'm going to add a journey point and I'm going to say, let's tag it. And these are the MailChimp tags. So I can go ahead and say, let's tag it with first time buyer. There we go. I'm going to add that and save. And if that first time buyer is not in the CRM tags field, I'm just going to have it exit. It doesn't need to happen. Nothing needs to happen with it in this journey. And I'll just create a journey for all my most important tags. So as contacts come over, they'll go through all the journeys. If they match any of the tags I have set up, it'll go ahead and add that same tag in MailChimp as a MailChimp tag instead of just the CRM tags. So that's another easy way to do it. But that's how you can get tags into MailChimp. So we hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or need any help setting this up, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation, connecting the world's applications.